The Arduino Nano and I.O. Shield used in this video are sponsored by the DigitSpace. DigitSpace is an open source hardware provider. They supply innovative, user-friendly open source hardware products at extremely low prices. Arduino itself is not a specific board type or microcontroller. Rather, Arduino refers to a whole family of boards like Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Mega and so on. You can check a complete list of the Arduino AVR boards. Simply open the Arduino IDE. Click on the Tools menu. Boards. You will see a long list of the Arduino AVR boards that have different advantages and disadvantages. It's not possible to make a comparison of all the available boards, but in this video, I'm going to compare Arduino Uno with Arduino Nano. In this video, I will also answer one of the most frequently asked questions. Can I run the same program using the Arduino Nano or Arduino Mega? I will practically explain this with the help of a small project. As you know, there are multiple Arduino boards. Choosing the right one for your project is no small feat and some thought should be given to the one that you use. When and why you should use Arduino Nano instead of using the Arduino Uno or Arduino Mega or any other type of the Arduino board. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this video can be purchased from DigitSpace and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Arduino Uno which you are quite familiar with. While this small controller board is the Arduino Nano. The first most noticeable thing about both the controller boards is the size difference. The Arduino Nano is essentially an Arduino Uno shrunk into a very small profile making it very convenient for tight spaces in projects that may need to reduce weight. Just like the Arduino Uno, the Arduino Nano uses the same 80 mega 328 microcontroller operating at 16 megahertz, includes 32 kilobyte of program memory, 1 kilobyte of EEP ROM, 2 kilobyte of RAM, has 14 digital I.O. and PWM pins, 8 analog inputs while in Arduino we have only 6 analog pins A0 to A5. Just like the Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano also have the 5 volt and 3.3 volt pins which can be used to power up different types of sensors. Another noticeable thing is a DC female power check which is included on the Arduino Uno, allowing it to be powered up by an external adopter using a male power check. There is also a VN option available for connecting the Arduino Uno to batteries or using wires from breadboards. This power jack is not available on the Arduino Nano board. You have only two options, you can use a small USB cable or you can use the VN and ground pins to power up the Arduino Nano board. The Arduino Uno has a pin header arrangement that is rapidly becoming the industry standard for development boards, making it compatible with most development board shields on the market. While on the other hand, the Arduino Nano cannot connect to Arduino shields but it has pin headers which make it useful for breadboard prototyping. Movo Arduino Nano board is the cheapest Arduino board due to which the project overall cost can be reduced. If you are a beginner and want to learn Arduino, then I highly recommend go for Arduino Nano and also get yourself an I.O. shield if you are not comfortable with breadboards and power arrangements. The Arduino Nano I.O. Shield is provided with multiple mail headers which are clearly labeled. If you are watching my videos on a regular basis, then you must know 
that in almost 90% projects I have used Arduino Uno because it's famous people are searching for Arduino Uno. The programming style of the Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano is 100% same. When I make a project, people start asking can we make the same project using the Arduino Nano or Arduino Mega. And my reply is always yes. In fact, any program which is written for the Arduino Uno can also run on the Arduino Nano without any problem. Without even changing a single instruction, I'm going to practically demonstrate this. A few days back, I uploaded a video on how to use the I2C 16 into 2 LCD with the Arduino Uno. This time, I'm going to run the same program using the Arduino Nano. I'll be using the same SDA and SCL pins which are the analog pins A4 and A5. While the LCD is connected with the Arduino Nano, as per the circuit diagram already explained in my previous tutorial, open the same program. Make sure you select the Arduino Nano and the correct communication port. Finally, click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see the same program which was basically written for the Arduino Uno works perfectly on the Arduino Nano. At the end it's totally up to you. If you want to reduce the project cost and size then you should definitely use the Arduino Nano. The circuit diagram and programming can be downloaded from our website electronicclinic.com. You can find a link in the description. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.